Hello, my name is Eddie Tofby. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. As is usual at this time of year, I stop looking at my daily charts and instead concentrate on the longer term view using my weekly, monthly, even yearly charts. If you'd like to discuss any of these, I'd only be too happy to hear from you. So let me introduce today's longer term chart. Today I'll be looking longer term at Chicago soybeans. The sideways action the market had seen since mid-2018 until mid-2020 had built up enough ammunition for a breakout higher. This it did in August 2020 that closed up over all the moving averages and perhaps most importantly of all closed well up and over the key 50% absolute Fibonacci line at 895. All this happening within just one month. Consequently, it was not unusual to see further gains throughout the rest of 2020 and into 2021. Saw a bigger move up in December 2020 that closed over the important 50% Fibonacci line of the 2012 to 2019 move at 1289. In 2021, the market consolidated over the big 50% Fibonacci line at 1289 and punched up through the late 2012 to 2013 base congestion, roughly between 1385 and 1460, plus the highs in the 1520 area before coming to the interesting neckline extension currently 1634 of the 2010 to 2014 head and shoulders top. I deliberately highlighted this neckline extension over the last two years as though it was breached and breached by some distance there were no closes over it in 2021 and prices dropped back down as we head into 2022 with the low in November of that year. Since then prices moved up once more and I drew last year a bullish Andrews and a bullish shift pitchfork for the 2020 to 2021 action. Of these two, only the breached bullish shift pitchfork remains, highlighted in dark blue on my, on my uh, monthly chart. The reason is that the first part of 2022 peaked over that interesting neckline extension again from 2012 to 2014 head and shoulder stop but shied away from testing the 2012 high at 1789, dropping mid-year to test the lower time, currently at 1450, once again. However, the market seems to be building a base on the combination of this, admittedly breached lower time, and the 2020 uptrend, which is highlighted in bright red, currently at 1414, just underneath it. Interestingly, the market is also seemingly finding some support from the rising two-year moving average, currently 1449, though. I am not sure about the 50% Fibonacci line of the late 2021 to early 2022 move at 1471. It is nearby though I don't think it's actually either aiding or obstructing what is going on. I am quite mindful of what may happen should the lower time and the uptrend not only become breached but properly broken. As that lays out all sorts of interesting possibilities on the downside. For a couple, I can see potential for a bear flag and the development of a very lopsided diamond pattern over 2021 to 2023. But this is just a mere speculation at this stage. Until these are verified, the bullish shift pitchfork and the uptrend will be running this market. Thank you for listening. This annual broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.